If there's something that you have wanted to do, but you have basically buried it <laughs> and you were too scared to pursue it, this episode is for you. I want to inspire you to change your mindset. I want you to get out of your own way. I know that, you know, at the end of the day, you're here listening because you want love. You want to find your person. Okay. And it's interesting that so many times, so many women that I talk to that I've worked with, they'll say, oh no, but I don't want to date this guy because they're going to take away from me. I have to sacrifice so much. I have worked so hard to be where I am. And that's what they've done in the past because they're dating the wrong guys. Now think about it. Have, have you ever dated a guy that was basically you felt like, oh my gosh, I'm always showing up. I have to do all this for them. I'm putting all my energy into them. And what are you getting in return? And it really felt exhausting. You know, this whole idea of like, oh my God, dating is exhausting. And then like, for what? To find a guy that is going to take things away, take away value from your life, right? And that's not what I want for you. And this is what I need you to really start opening your mind up to, okay? The idea of a crazy love, okay? And this, you know, my twin and I were on talking about it. She's always laughing about it. She's always trying to remember what crazy stands for, right? We're also used to toxic bullshit. And I am really trying to change that word for you because, you know, my mom always used to say, Jackie, it has to be crazy love or nothing. My mom always said that to me. And I'm going to have my mom on one of the future episodes because, you know, she is such a huge part of my journey and why I found the love that I have today. And so, you know, it's so funny. She heard one of the episodes before and she's like you didn't give me any credit like she was like wait a second and I'm like mom I'm gonna have you on don't worry so that's to come but let me tell you about the word crazy you know crazy stands for when you find a relationship where you can be completely real and authentically zenfully you okay now really think about it like don't rush through it it's a love where you can be really yourself and what I realized, okay, is that so much of what I truly wanted to do with my life, I wasn't pursuing because the guys that I was dating in the past, they would not help me shine my light. They were really dimming my light. They were like, no, you have to do this X, Y, or Z. And I had to fit their you know, picture of what is perfect, right? And I was doing that for years. Something that really I absolutely value, you know, in my relationship with Will is that he really helped me shine. He saw I was able to be completely honest with him. I felt safe with him. I felt like I could tell him my deepest, oh my gosh, like my dream would be and what was my dream? Some of you know, I really wanted to play music. I wanted to be a musician, a singer songwriter. And for years, I was not pursuing that dream. And I was going through the motions in this in Miami, where I'm from. And, um, you know, you get caught up in the rat race of it all, right? And I really was so scared. And we moved to Tenerife, Tenerife, right? The Canary Islands. You know, because I had this feeling, and this is like something that I absolutely encourage you guys, you know, to listen to that gut feeling, right? I had a feeling when I came to visit here on vacation, I was like, I belong here. Like my grandfather was from here and he left as an adult to Cuba where my mom was born. My mom escaped Cuba at four years old and grew up in the States and I was born in Miami. So I've always wanted to go to Cuba, have never gone and, uh, you know, still under communist regime and my mom won't go. So my mom was like, you know, what? I'm going to go to Tenerife. Listen, stay with me because I know this story is like a little bit going everywhere, but I promise it all, it all comes together because that feeling that I had, you know, my mom was like, I'm going to go to Tenerife. She went, that's a whole other story that she can talk about when I have her on, but she was like, I'm moving here and 
I end up visiting like like on, we're on vacation and I felt it. I was like, this is where I belong. This is where I need to be. And I came back to the States. I tell Will, I can't stop talking about it because I went on the trip with only Juliana when she was four. And Will was like, oh my God, you're so crazy. Like we have to stay here, right? Of course, you know, Will always says, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's such a good guy. And he ends up going on a trip with me to Tenerife and he ends up falling in love with it too. And we end up moving here. But listen, the, the point of all that is that Yes, I followed my feeling, my gut. I had a supportive, amazing husband that really wasn't holding me back. He wasn't like, no, Junkie, we're going to stay in the States forever. Like he was like, let's do this, you know? And he always says to me, thank you, babe. Like, oh my gosh. Like he looks at me like I have brought so much value to his life. Because if it was just him on his own, he would be just like doing, like going through the motions of what life is all about and the rat race of, you know, and stay in the States forever. And he was like, oh my gosh, this is a whole new life that I never thought was possible. Like leaving the States, this is crazy. And so we're in Tenerife living here on this island with black sand beaches, a volcano. Like guys, if you don't, if you've never heard of Tenerife, you got to look it up. It's so special. It's off the coast of, even though it's part of Spain, it's off the coast of West Africa. And it's just so special and spectacular. Um, and it's so small. It's like a million people here. So I'm playing guitar, like, because, you know, I was running my parents' export business you know my parents are badasses and they started a business like 40 50 years ago and I grew up in that business and I was the operations manager for like at that point like eight years or something and next thing you know when I'm living here playing the guitar all the noise of you know like the rat race of America and I love America I'm not trashing it but you know what I mean right like it's it gets so busy and busy and you're just so freaking busy and now all of a sudden I'm in Tenerife and it's so like I'm connecting now to like my deeper self it's not like you know I don't know if you get into meditating but like when you meditate it's like you kind of stop all that noise right you, you don't need to meditate to be in Tenerife. In Tenerife, you just like automatically are meditating because you're like at that level. So I'm playing guitar, playing one of my songs. I always wrote music. Ever since I was 18, I taught myself how to play guitar. And now I'm 36. Okay, I'm 36 at that time. And I'm playing guitar with one of my friends and he's listening. He's like, Jackie, why don't you have this on Spotify? Or like do something with this. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, why don't I? And like that, that idea, that just one little idea of like, why not? I just, it set me off to just one thing after the other. Like I'm walking and I signed up for vocal lessons, signed up for, oh my gosh, songwriting courses. Um, one thing I just started to really hone in on my craft and I started realizing, oh my gosh, my voice has power and there's range. And I'm like, I always thought, okay, the dream would be to write songs, but I never thought I could sing. And next thing you know, I'm like having vocal coaches and they're like, you have a crazy range. So now I'm like everyday training. And what is Will doing for all this? Like Will doesn't look at me and he's like, you're crazy. He doesn't say, no, babe, like stay in the nine to five job grind. No, he's like, yes, babe. Oh my gosh, you're so talented. Do it. Like, this is what I'm saying, you guys, is that love when you have from someone that really supports that dream of yours, those fears that you're so scared, like, oh my gosh, I can't do that, can I? And then you have that partner that's like, hell yes. And they're not just blowing smoke up your ass. They see you for really everything you're like all about. And they get you out of your own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really hope that, that you're feeling me because your person is out there waiting to meet you, right? And they are wanting to help you shine. Like when they see you, it's like, oh my gosh, they just don't ever want to dim your light, right? So many of the women that I meet are like, oh my gosh, dating. Ugh, ugh, oh my God, I'm so over it. I, like, I want to challenge you and imagine it. Like I know and it's so hard to do. It's like press like a reset button. <laughs> you know, like, 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 like 
just reset your brain to think, oh my gosh, wait a second. Everything I've done is wrong. I <laughs> know, seriously, it is. Like everything that we've done, you've been settling for the wrong guys over and over. They, each guy taking things away from you. Oh my God, you felt less than. You felt like you're not good enough. They made you feel like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? So yeah, no hell, I understand why you wouldn't want to be putting yourself out there to find yet another guy to dim your light. And but what I'm trying to say is, wait a second, what if you can find the love, that person that never dims your light, right? And that person is going to help you fulfill that passion of yours. Yes, you should always be striving on your own right now. And you may very well be in a job that you love and pursuing all your dreams. But you know, because especially if you're listening to this, you're all about growth, right? And this is what I'm about, is that you're always growing and you want the next chapter of your life when you're choosing that person. You want to choose someone that is going to believe in you, is going to love you for who you are and for everything that you can be and want to be. Do you see what I mean? Like, I and I, I need, you know, it's, it's one thing to say it and hear it and be like, oh yeah, that'll be nice, that's sweet. No, like this is real. This is freaking, you have to believe it. This is like manifesting right now. Like actually I have this journal called Manifest the One and it's free. Click below, I'll, I'll include it. And so you can sign up and, and get it, okay? It's free. It's something where to help you kind of just think about, okay, wait a second. Where are you on your journey? Why are you on that path right now, right? And who is it that you really want? But I really hope that you start to think in the way of like, wait a second, it is freaking possible for me to find someone that can add a value, not take away from my life and everything I've worked hard for, right? And not only that, but wait a second, if I start to think about it, and this journal is going to give you a, like some space to think about it and be like, what is that you really want? Like, what, what are you doing right now? And what is it? Like, is there something else that you want to do and, and go after? So this is what I'm, let me go back to that. When I started to play music and, I, and hone in on my craft at 36 years old, and you know how people are like, you're too old to do music. Fuck that. No, you're not too old to do anything, right? So I am honing my craft. I do a music video. You guys, you don't understand. I like, it's called Coming Undone. It's on YouTube. Uh, Jacqueline Lore was my artist name, right? And it still is. Because next thing you know, I'm doing music videos. I'm promoting. I'm doing things wrong. I'm like releasing songs without even promoting. And then I start to realize, oh, I got to do shit. Like I got to pr pr promote. But the thing is that I started doing the things, you know, I just started doing it. And you don't understand what ended up happening, okay? I am like pursuing this dream. Things are actually happening. It seems like the universe, you know, when you want to do something and, and like one door opens and another door opens and it feels like the universe is saying, yes. Like, oh my God, yes, this is what you need to be doing. Okay, every song that I was writing was all about female empowerment. Like it was that song coming undone in the music video. I had to act as my twin. She was my muse. She was in that toxic relationship for so many years and she wasn't listening to me. So I wrote a song and I did a music video and I even acted as my twin. And what was hysterical was that she saw the video and, she, and, and saw the, and heard the song. She's like, oh my God, what a great song. Like, you know, and, and, and like, she totally didn't get that the song is about her, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I didn't have the heart to like first tell her cause she would, probably would have been really upset. Right. Um, she eventually found out and I even wanted to name the album coming in. Then it's the first song on the album. I wanted to name it after her, Carolyn. And she was like, don't like, I'll kill you. Like, so, so I ended up that album. She was such a huge part of it. It was her story of how she was in a toxic relationship, really just dark and she lost herself in it, lost her self-worth years and like finally getting out of it on the other side. And the, and the album kind of turns around to be like such a beautiful, like uplifting, bright, like with I Can Fly and show them. 
the music that you hear on all of my podcasts and everything um, on my IG reels and everything, it's those are my songs. And you know, like what is absolutely bananas and crazy about all this, right? Is that like me pursuing music and that passion, right? That I was so scared to do. Like I was like, no, let me just go through the motions and have a nine to five and, and take over my parents' business. Um, when I stopped and really said, wait a second, what is it that lights me up? Like, what do I want to do? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I loved making music. I loved to move people to feel something. I loved it when they cried. Like I know it sounds twisted, but I loved it when it resonated with them and they're like, oh my gosh, you're singing to me. And, and that was one of the best things that happened. I ended up moving back to Miami for a year to help my twin through the divorce that she had. And I'm, I'm, I play by myself on the guitar and it's open mic night, okay? Open mic night and I'm playing and this guy comes up to me and he's like, oh my God, you're amazing. I want to be your drummer. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I don't have a band. He's like, well, we're going to make a band. I like, you're amazing. And I'm like, I, I'm not going to pay. I can't pay you. And he's like, I don't need to get paid. I just want to be your drummer. And I'm like, okay. Next thing you know, we form this amazing band and we start playing all over Miami. And it was like it was a dream of mine to be on stage, be the lead singer, singing my songs that I've written. Like it's crazy. And you think about it like, oh my God, that is, I'm 37 at this point, 37, 38. And I'm like singing all over Miami, at these bars and these clubs and these places that I've always wanted to play at. And you know what was crazy about all of that? The best memory of all of those gigs that I had one woman came up to me and she was French and she came up to me at this place, Churchill's that I was playing in Miami. And she's like, I came here from France on vacation and you're the best thing. And you're the best thing that's happened on this trip. And she had tears in her eyes. She's like, that song that you just sang was for me. That's, this is what I'm going through right now. And to me, like that was what mattered the most. And but most nights, right? That's not happening. Most nights, everybody's wasted. Everybody's high. Like I wasn't, I had to be sober as hell to sing, right? <laughs> so everybody's wasted. I'm like trying to get people's attention. So I realized, wait a second, my dream I thought was playing in front of all these people, right? No. Then I started to realize, wait a second, what is it I really want to do? Like I really wanted to impact this world and help women see how freaking amazing they are and beautiful they are in so many ways and lift them and help them shine. And, you know, one way to do it was through my music. But then I was like, wait a second. You know, I was getting coached by this freaking amazing person, Chris Bradley. She's just like, she's one of my mentors, coaches, friends. She's just incredible. And she was inspiring me. And I started to lean into that calling it really felt like a calling have you ever felt that like have you ever felt like god i feel like i need to do this and i was so like scared to say the words out loud you know and i remember i was in a mentorship program with her and it was all about music <laughs> and she and she's the one that produced my song show them which you got to see the music video I, i'll include it down below but, you know, my kids are in it and it's so powerful. And she did the music production for that, right? She's amazing. And she taught me so much. And I go, Chris, this is crazy. But like, I feel like I'm called to be this female empowerment love coach to help women find love. Because, you know, Will always told me for years, every time we meet people, I, I was helping so many people one-on-one -on -one all the time. And I have my degree in psychology. I love love helping people, but I wasn't into therapy so much. Even though I took therapy, I love giving advice and like, let's, let's go, let's change our lives. Let's do it. Take action. So I tell Chris, Chris is freaking crazy. I spent a couple years, three years into music. And now my music is getting into film and TV and it was on Batwoman. And my kids are like so excited. And, I have, and I'm like, this is crazy. I'm totally deviating from what I'm supposed to be doing. And she's like, no, you need to a hundred percent follow that call. Like you do, you do what lights you up. What lights you up? The, I go, what lights me up the most is to help women to change the world to, and, and I feel like 
being a coach is a more direct way to get there. And she cheered me on. And guess what? Here we are, right? Like, so this whole story, what I'm trying to tell you is that I followed that feeling of like, oh my gosh, I want to do music. And I'm so happy I did. And all of this had this common thread that I was empowering women through music, through talking to them, through now coaching. And I want to know what are you wanting to do? What are you doing right now? And what is it that you want to do and you may be really scared to do? And so I want to give you the opportunity to just think about it, but actually do something about it. Sometimes you just like, okay, let me turn off the podcast and we're done and like never and no change. No, bullshit. Take a moment, click the link below, download this free manifest the one journal that's really going to give you clarity, you know, and, and not only that really start to push you to think, Hey, wait a second on a deeper level, you know, I want to get you out of the freaking rat race and I want to give you that space where you're like, Oh shit, this is what I really want to do. And then I want to hear about it. <laughs> and then you email me, okay? Jackie at JackieLore.com. And I want to hear about it and leave a review. I want you to share the love. If you have love for this podcast, I love your instant, you know, direct messages or send me, but also leave a five-star review. So other women can be reading this and be like, hell yeah, I want to listen to this crazy bitch. Because you know what? I, all of us are stuck in like this matrix, uh, robot, uh, and I need to shake the world up a little bit, right? And I want to shake you up. So I hope this episode did. Thank you for being here. If you want to hear my music, <laughs> I mean, it's, I honestly feel like it is very inspiring. I need to do the playlist actually. That's what I'll do. Um, and include the link below because um, you'll see a deeper side of me. My music really is a big part of my soul. It's a passion of mine, but it's not my purpose to be a musician. My purpose is to help you. My purpose is to help women shine their freaking light and find their person that's going to help them shine their light. Your person is out there. I just get chills. I get chills talking to you like this because I believe it so much and I hope you do too. So I will see you next time. And remember, it has to be crazy love or nothing.